Hello, good morning my dear students. I am going through the time and money chapter of class 3. So, in the previous video also, I was teaching you about the time and money chapter in which I have taught you how to convert the rupees into the paisa or paisa into the rupees. As well as I have taught you about how to air the money. How to air the money. So in this video, I am going to tell you about the conversion of days and hours. Dinra ghanta ma, din lai ghanta ma, athwa ghanta lai din ma kasari change ganeta. How to change the days into the hour or hour into the days. So I will tell you how to convert it. So before converting, before solving these types of questions, what you must know, you must know the relation between the days and hours. If you don't know relation between the days and hours, then you can convert the days into hours or hour into day. So first of all, let me know you about the relation between the days and hour. So here in the top I have written here one day equals to 24 hours. Ek din ma 24 ghanta huncha. Okay? That you have to learn it and keep it in your mind for forever. Okay? So it is also good it is also what? Benefit for you know, in the daily life also not for the study. Okay? So one day equals to 24 hours okay one day equals to 24 hours now look at the question here is written that convert into hours already here is written a question is written in a days and you have to convert it into a hours now you are thinking that how to convert into the hours obviously there is a certain rules isn't it so there is a rules for converting the days into the hour. So the rules is that what you have to do, you have to multiply these four or the you have to multiply these given days by the relation. And the relation between the days and hours is 24. That means one day equals to 24 hours. Okay. So here is a four days and you have to multiply this four by the 24. Then you will get the answer. And in a case and you have to in the all the case that there will not be a multiplication okay in all the in all type of question you can't do the multiplication in the case so in which case you have to do multiplication in a case in which if the question will ask you to convert the bigger unit okay bigger unit into the smaller unit because obviously a day is bigger than the hour Day time, hour vanda too low. So that's why look here in this question, okay, you have to convert this bigger one into the smaller one. So at the time only you have to follow the multiplication method, okay. So let's do it. What you have to do here is retain the four days, isn't it? If the eight did not 24 hours and then what, how many hours will be in the four days? So for that, to get the answer, what you have to do, you have to write here 4 as it is and you have to multiply by the how many? 24 hours. And don't forget to write here hours at last. Okay. And now you have to do multiply and obviously you know how to do multiplication, how to do multiply, isn't it? So I will do here 24 into 4. 4 4 is 16, 4 2 is 8, 9. So you will get the 96. What? In 4 days, there are 96 hours. In 4 days, there is 96 hours. And you should focus on whether you have written the right unit or not. Because after multiplying this 4 by the 24, if you will again repeat these days here, then your solution will gonna be wrong. You will get the zero marks. So after attain, after doing the multiplication, okay, either your answer is right, but you haven't retained the correct unit, then I am not gonna give you a marks. Okay, 
so that's why what you have to do after you have solved or after you have done the multiplication you have to focus towards the unit because your question is telling you to convert into the hours so you have to write the hours at last so this is the way to solve such type of question again here in the b number question i have written here the 12 days okay that i have uh, written one more question by which you will become more clear maybe in the first question you may not be clear but in second question obviously i am what quite sure that you will understand okay here is a 12 days you have to repeat the same way same method only the days is different here is a four days and here is a 12 days difference is only that okay 12 you write you have to write here 12 as it is and what you have to do you have to multiply multiply by how much 24 hours okay and you have to multiply it 24 into 12 what you have to do 2 4 is 8 2 2 is 4 1 4 is 4 1 2 is 2 after that you have to write almost 2 8 8 so in 12 days there are 20 288 hours okay 2 4 is 8 2 is 4 1 4 is 4 and 1 2 is 2 so that's it 2 8 8 so in 12 days how many hours is there there is altogether 288 hours in a 12 days so this is the way to solve such type of question i hope you have understood and there is a lots of question in your book that you have to solve as a homework in your copy i hope you will complete it So this is the question, convert into the hours. 1 and 3 I have already done and you have to do the 2, 1A, sorry 1B, 2B, 2A and the 3B, okay. After that, look here, it is the next topic. This is the question here I have written that is convert into the days. Before this I have written one question I have taught you. I have made you understand how to solve it. Isn't it? I have told you the method also. So this one is the opposite of that. In that question you have converted the days into the hours. But here in this question you have to convert the hours into days. So now how to convert the hours into the days? Are we going to apply the same method? No. You are going, you are not going to apply the same method. What you have to do in that question, you have done the multiplication. But in this question, you have to, you have to do the division. You have to apply the division method. Because, why? Okay. You will, you may ask us why? Because look here, here it is told that you have to convert into the days or you have to convert the given hours into the days. The question is different and the main thing is when your question is asking or when your question is ordering you to convert the smaller unit into the big unit. Then at that time what you have to do, you have to divide the given question by their relation. What is the relation between them? You have to divide by that relation. So in this question, what you have to do, you have to divide. You have to divide the given number. And then only you can convert into the given unit. So let's do it. Here is written the 48 hours. And what you have to write, you have to write here 48 as it is. And instead of multiply, you have to write here divide sign. And you have to divide by how much? By the relation. And the relation between the days and hour is 24. So you are going to divide here. Divide this given number by the 24. And after dividing or after multiplying, the unit will be changed. Okay? The unit will be changed. So here is the hour. So what? It will be converted into days. So 48 divided by 24. You must know how to do divide. 
If you don't know how to do divide, then you can't solve this sub type of question. So, 48 divided by 24, you will get 2. Exactly, you will get the 2. So, you have to write here 2. And in which unit you have to convert the falling hours? You have to convert this into day. So, that means we get to know that in 48 hours, there is 2 days. There are 2 days. Okay. So, do you need 48 hours? In 48 hours, what? There is 2 days. There are 2 days. So, let's solve this B number question also. Here is a 72 hours. Isn't it? Again, what you have to do? You have to apply the same method. Only the given number is different. Okay, so 72 hours, you have to write 72 as it is. And after that, write your divide sign. And you have to divide the 72 by the relation. And the relation between them is 24. So you have to write here 24. And don't forget to write here days instead of hours. And when you divide the 72, when you divide the 72 by the 24, then wait for a while. Three two are sorry. Six seven. Okay, so you will get exactly three days. What you get when you divide this seventy two by the twenty three? Then you can solve in your rough copy also. Then you will get exactly three days. Okay, and at last I want to say you are additional information that is after dividing or after multiplying you have to write the unit. Okay, which is written in your top heading question. So look here, convert into a day. So at last what you have to write here, days. Okay, if you write here hours instead of days, then your solution will be wrong. So be careful about that. Okay, check the solution after completing. Okay, after completing the solution, after you finish uh, doing the solution, isn't it? You have to check it once, okay, whether you have written the right, correct unit or not. And after that, look here, I have checked here, I have written here the days, isn't it? So that's why my solution is right, okay. So this is the way to convert the given hours into the days. So I hope you have understood. So you have to do in the same way, okay. There are lots of questions for you uh, in your book. So you have to solve that. Okay. I think there is on the four question. Yeah. So among that two questions I have already done. Okay. So you can take the help of your video. And two one, two one you have to do by yourself in your copy. Okay. So look here, 40, convert into days, 48 hours, 72 hours. That I have already solved, presented on the board. And 5 AB you have to do by yourself. So for today only this much, I hope you have understood all the major, all the questions that I have taught you. So you have to solve all that homework in the way that I have just taught you now. Okay. If you do, if you follow that way, then obviously you are going to obtain a good marks in your exam. I hope you will do it seriously. And for today only this much, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much.